From its staff, six flags have flown, representing four sovereign powers, Great Britain, the Commonwealth of Virginia, the United States, and the Confederate States. The facility was founded as the Gosport Shipyard, a private enterprise in 1767 under the British flag, 31 years before the creation of the United States Navy Department. It became a government shipyard in 1801, and 81 naval officers have served as shipyard commanders. One of the most significant historical events was the dry docking of the U.S. ship Delaware on 17 June 1833, the first ship ever to be dry docked in the Western Hemisphere. This oldest American dock is still in daily service, although somewhat limited due to its size and draft. Of course, every school child has read of the famous battle between the Merrimack and the Monitor. But what is not commonly known is that the U.S. steam frigate Merrimack was burned to the waterline by federal forces in April 1861 and was converted in our dry dock number one to the Confederate ironclad ship Virginia thus becoming the first armored ship to engage in battle. The battle in Hampton Roads on 8 and 9 March 1862 with the wooden U.S. squadron and the armored Union vessel Monitor made obsolete the world's wooden navies and changed the course of naval history. During World War II, the skilled workmen in the Tidewater area working in the shipyard have built 132 ships and craft. 101 of these were built after September 1, 1939, the start of the World War II emergency, and included three aircraft carriers and one battleship, the Alabama. The peak employment during this period reached 42,893 in February 1943. So much for the facts. 